Right, so I'm back and this time it's gonna be a very different video But I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite ever players and obviously he's a current manager You already know who it is if you're currently watching this video and it's Pep Guardiola I'm gonna be going over his player career and yeah, we're gonna be starting from his the beginning of his career to his retirement So let's get to it So starting off with this history his full name is Josep Guardiola y Sala. It's a little bit weird, but that's why they call him Pep Guardiola. Anyways, he was born on January 18th, 1971, making him 52 years old as of today. So, happy birthday, Pep Guardiola. He was born in the small city of San Pedro from Spain. He was a football addict at his, in his young childhood and even worked as a ball boy for local matches. And when he grew to the age of 13, he finally joined the youth academy of Barcelona, also known as La Masia. And in La Masia is where he grew to be the incredible player and eventual manager that he is now, you know. And Johan Cruyff was the first manager that ever saw him and took him to the first team of FC Barcelona in 1990. After spending six years in La Masia, he grew from a defender to a defensive midfielder and was able to start dictating play from a deeper line role in the midfield. So it is mostly known that he was a central defensive midfielder, but he did start off as a defender as a center back, but he mostly played down the defensive midfield role while also playing a little bit sometimes down the left, maybe as a central midfielder and sometimes just rarely as an attacking midfielder, but most of the time and everyone really knows him for being a solid central defensive midfielder. He had no preferred foot and the, his main number of choice, but not limited to, it was number four. Everyone knows him for the number four, but he did used to wear a bunch of different numbers, including the number three, 10, nine, eight, and a few others. I'll list them on the screen now, but it was just impressive. And of course, the number four grew infamous for many other players, but Pep Guardiola was one of them. Now going on to some coaches that you may have heard of and that taught Pep Guardiola the playing style that he knows today was Johan Cruyff, as I mentioned earlier, but also Louis Van Gaal and Bobby Robson. Along with that, some famous teammates that he used to play alongside was Christo Stoichkov, Luis Figo, Ronald Koeman, Luis Enrique, and Rivaldo. On to his club stats now. He started off in Barcelona B, or you know what? He actually started off in the, you know, the U19, the U16, the U18, and stuff like that for Barcelona, but then he finally grew up into the Barca B, and that's where he started finally playing at a professional level with Barcelona while still not being in the first team. And for that first season where he played at Barca B, he played about 48 games, scored five goals, and got zero assists, unfortunately, but still a pretty solid season while still playing, you know, some regular football in the lower division with a Barcelona side. He would play a few games in the first team, but he was still considered a Barca B player. Now in the 1991-92 season, that is when he finally got promoted into the first team and he was officially a Barca first team player. And he did play a few more matches with the Barca B, but he was considered a first teamer or a first team player. And that's where he finally got more matches in the first team of FC Barcelona. With the Blaugrana, he started playing more and more and he became one of the club captains and played over 380 games and scored 21 goals alongside his 48 assists with the first team of FC Barcelona. It's absolutely incredible and he's most known for playing at FC Barcelona. But that is not the last team that he played for. He played for a few others, including some in Italy. In the 2001-2003 season, he moved to an Italian side that maybe you haven't heard of, but Brescia. At least, I believe that's what it's pronounced. But yeah, he moved to a team called Brescia and played quite a few games with them, but only played there for one season. He played about 12 games, scored three goals, and got one assist with Brescia. That is when he moved to AS Roma, where he didn't get much playing time. He only got six games under his belt and only played half a season there, and he went back to Brescia. And unfortunately, he got no goals and assists with Roma, but with Brescia for his second stint for the rest of that season, he was actually able to accumulate 13 games and one goal while still getting no assists for the Brescia side. Nearing the end of his career though, after that season with Brescia, in the 2003 and 2004 season, he moved to Al Alhi uh, SC. I believe that's a Qatar inside, but there's not much known about their team or his stats at that moment, so I can't really give you those stats, but he played a full season with them and then he decided to retire. 
But after that season in Qatar and his retirement, he actually came out of retirement to play one season in Mexico with Dorados Sinaloa. And yes, it's very interesting. He actually played for a Mexican side, which most people might have not known that. He played 10 games with them and even scored one goal in the Mexican League. So congratulations to Pep Guardiola. But unfortunately, after that season, he retired from professional football as a player. And that is where his career as a player ended. But in total, for all of his club stats, he played about 500 games, scored around 30 goals, and got about 50 assists, which is a very impressive feat for a central defensive midfielder who played back in the early 1990s and early 2000s. Fantastic stats for a fantastic player and manager. Moving on to his international stats, of course, he's a Spanish international and played quite a few games with them, while maybe not as many as you might think. Let's first break it down by competition, and then we'll go down to his total. In friendlies, he got about 16 call-ups and about one goal was scored in those friendlies. Again, he's a central defensive midfielder, so it's not to be expected that he scores many goals. For World Cup qualification matches, though, he got about 18 games and scored three goals, so he practically scored some pretty important goals for the Spanish national team so they could qualify for the World Cup. Meanwhile, in the Euros qualification matches, he got about seven games under his belt and no goals nor any assists. Moving on to actual competitions, in the Euros, he was actually able to play four games with the Spanish national side. Meanwhile, in the World Cup, he unfortunately only played two games at a, an official World Cup in the 2002 World Cup. His one World Cup goal was scored up against Bolivia in a Group C match where Spain beat Bolivia 3-1. But for Spain, for the Spanish national side, Pep Guardiola in total was actually able to play 47 games and scored 6 goals with the Spanish side. Last but certainly not least, let's move on to his accolades, his individual and as his team accolades, otherwise known as his trophies. He won this very intriguingly named Cup in 1996 and 97 season. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but I will try my best. Europa Pokal de Poca Sager Sager. Not entirely sure what that means, but I'm assuming I'm not entirely sure what trophy that is, but he won one of those in the 1996-97 season. Then of course he also won two Spanish Super Cups with FC Barcelona in 1996-97 and 97-98. I unfortunately made a mistake, he actually won the Spanish Super Cup four times and he won the Spanish Cup twice. For the Spanish Super Cup, I would put the years down there because there's quite a few because he won four of them. On top of all of that, he also won two UEFA Super Cups in these years and also won six Spanish League trophies. In other words, he won La Liga six times with FC Barcelona, which is absolutely fantastic. Six trophies in ten seasons as the league? Absolutely amazing. On top of all of that, he also won the U he also won the European Cup, also known as the Champions League or the name of the Champions League before it was known as the Champions League with FC Barcelona once. And that was in the 1991-92 season under Johan Cruyff. And that was FC Barcelona's first ever European trophy. And with Spain, he actually won one Olympic gold medal in 1991-92 with Spain, of course. So, that was a quick overview of the Pep Guardiola player career, and of course, he has done so much as a manager and as a player, but I wanted to speak on him because it is his birthday today, and I wanted to celebrate his player career because it's someone that I truly look up to, and he's so impactful, he's so smart, and he's such a good reader of the game, and he is so amazing. And I just wanted to praise him because I feel like he is underappreciated sometimes, especially his player career. So I want to do my best to impart my knowledge about this particular player, Pep Guardiola. And of course, he's retired, so that's why I wanted to focus on him instead of someone who's currently playing. Because I want to wait until their career is over so we can look over it completely. And yeah, I think Pep Guardiola is a fantastic player and an even better manager now. And I hope to see him win more trophies and maybe once he's retired from manager, then maybe I'll do another video on his manager career though. But happy birthday Pep Guardiola and hope everybody has a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you guys want more of these, just let me know. And later.